Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of A Space for the Unbound. Last time we left off, we were looking for Marin so that we could get access to the library. Hey Marin. Are you the librarian's assistant? I am. Do you need anything? I need to get into the library. I'm looking for a book. Everyone's out here breaking their backs for Lintong Fest and you're just looking for a book? It's for Mr. Ogung. He's acting really strange. Like, pretending to be a military officer strange. More strange than usual, you mean. Hey, it might be a bit strict, but Mr. Ogung is usually kind. This is different. Hmm, that is weird. Right? Anyway, found this library card in his bag. Maybe there will be something in the book he checked out, a clue to help us fix him. Okay, I'll help. For real? Everyone's been acting weird, but if Mr. Ogung's gone crazy too, then I know something's really wrong. Locking the library for you is the least I can do. Thank you so much, Marin. Do you know where Rai is? That's all. Okay, no time to waste. Let's go to the library. Let's do it. We gotta go get our final clue. So that we can stop Monok Monokuma. Or stop the killer, rather. Alright, let me in. Hmm, I think it's around here. Aha, gotcha. Wait, the key was right here the whole time? Well, now you uh, know I suppose I'll have to find a new hiding place. Here you go, after you. Oh, you're gonna go in here and sleep. I didn't open this so you could come in here and sleep, you jerk. First edition of Catch Me, I'll Hit You, an installment in the popular Whoopa series. Which is surprisingly interesting. Suddenly I could hear for some gum. Yeah, I think we read those before. Hello. Lin Tong Fest and... The amazing gem in my ring! This is not just any gem, but the famous meteorite gem from the local city vendor! He's gonna have them at his stall at Lin Tong Festival too, so don't miss it! Uh, uh, what do you mean this ring is just a scam? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So you're looking for a particular book, right? Can I see the card again? Here you are. Sure, here you go. Hmm, Civic Education Handbook for 12th grade. It should be over here. This is it. Mr. Argung usually uses that copy in his classes. Hmm, nothing unusual in here as far as I can tell. There's something, a newspaper clipping. Rest in peace. Yep, there it is. There it is. Man wearing a military uniform. Who could this be? You have the same last name. Obituary of a Major General? Major General Agong Muldrono. Nice, I can use this in the evidence in Ludlow's courtroom. Take the evidence. Anything interesting? Yeah, I think so. Thanks for your help, Marin. Anytime. Hey, Atma? Yeah? Nothing. Good luck. Think I have enough evidence for the court. Should head back now. Suspicious, Marin. Very, very suspicious. Alright. Someone mentioned they were kind of sussy you because you're the one that gave me the book in the first place, so... Hmm... Questions. Space dive. Gotta go dive into your space. Your head space. Hello, geese. Alright, I have evidence. Your Highness, I have all the evidence in my hand. Very good. Are you ready to proceed with the trial? Yes, Your Highness. Let's do it. Cross examination. Defendant, please repeat your testimony. My name is Major General Agong Myol Jono, an esteemed soldier since the day of the independence. Uh, I guess let's go with that one. Been signed and approved by Agong Moljono Putra. Half an old photo featuring a familiar face in its youth. Fishuary of Major General Agong Moljono. 
I guess I want this. Hmm. Wait, let's let's get. So, the name is Major General Agong Oljono, an esteemed soldier since the day of independence. So, if I choose this one, this is the obituary. Objection! You say that you're Major General Agong Moljono, correct? That's impossible. Ha! Ah. Prosecution, the evidence. Prove his claim false. Yes, take a look at this newspaper clipping. Local loca man is arrested for selling cigarettes to minor. <laughs> Your Highness, the reverse. Oh. This is an obituary? Wait. The obituary of Major General Agong Moljono. Er That's right. The real Major General is deceased. As you can see by the date on this newspaper, he passed away many years ago. The real Major General Agong Moljono is dead. Quack, 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 quack. Order! I will have order now! <laughs> Such a weird premise! Well, defendant, what do you say to this? Fake news! Fake news, I say! <laughs> this is a conspiracy! A real rebuttal, I see. Still not convinced? I have other evidence, your highness. Very well, please present it. <laughs> I'm jumping to the conspiracy theories. I should know my own identity, I say. And I'm certain I'm not a teacher. I'm a bona fide soldier. Let's go with this one, since I know this one. Betrayal of Major General, so this would be this one, signed and proved by Agong Mojona Putra. Objection! It's a bold claim. Your Highness, please take a look at this evidence. Huh, no evidence, you say? You should think carefully before making a claim like that. This is, um, a future plan consultation form? That's right. The letterhead clearly demonstrates that this is an authentic local high document. Take a look at the signature at the bottom of the form. Signed by... Agong Mojono Putra. That's the same as the signature on the photo that you admitted was yours. Urgh. Only teachers can supervise and sign the consultation form. This form proves that Agong Mojono Putra is a teacher at Loka High. Quark, quark, quark. <laughs> order, order, I say. Defendant, what do you say to this? I must have forged my signature, your highness. There's no proof of that. Still not convinced, huh? I have other evidence, your highness. Very well, please present it. I should know my own identity. I have fought for this country. In fact, I have proof that I serve in the military. Okay, so we can, uh, we can choose this and I can choose the other half of the picture. So, half of an old photo featuring a familiar face. Objection! Your Highness, please take a look at this evidence. Huh. You're certain that this is you and the photo defendant? Absolutely sure. Would you show the court your photo again? See no point in doing so, but as you wish. Defendant, this photo looks frayed on the edge, like it's been ripped. How do you explain it? It, it? it must have been worn from where I've carried it around for so long. No, I think I know what's going on. This photo is only half of a larger image, and the prosecution has obtained the other half. Boom. There we go. No. Oh yes, and the other half, the other half shows you and your true identity as a teacher. Quack, quack. <laughs> order, I will have order. What do you say to this defendant? That's... that isn't me. Resemblance is uncanny, you're still not convinced? All this evidence points to one irrefutable conclusion. You aren't a Major General at all. You're Agong Mojono Putra, a Loka high school teacher. Whoa. Oh, now I gotta- Oh, whoa, space dive in a space dive? That seems dangerous. But I'm already in space dive. Ah, uh, I'll explain everything to you. 
on your knees already. Submit and be grateful for the new power that Her Highness is bestowing upon you. New power? Yes, prosecution, congrats. We are now closer than ever to the truth. But your work is not yet done. Worry not, the court stands firmly behind you. Yes, the power that changed this man runs deep. Your current abilities are not enough, but yes, the foundation is there. I bestow upon you the power of Cross Dive. Cross Dive? You need to peel back the other layer of influence on this man. Go forth and enter the second layer of Mr. Agung's inner psyche. Underneath, you will find his true identity hidden away. I want you to restore it. Alright. Let's go. Space diving in a space dive. This seems dangerous, like I could get, you know, stuck here or something. Here it is. The real Mr. Agong. Locked away deep inside his heart. I need to set him free. Maybe if I could solve this puzzle. Let me go. Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! Something behind these bars, but I can't reach it without opening the door. Oh... Mmm... Think I see what's going on here? So... Yeah, we're, we're like, yep. I see. Well, that gets me to this. Missing a specific fuse, probably the blue fuse. Uh, halt! You have no authority here. Preventing me from going past. Okay, so I need that... I need that red fuse, I need the blue fuse. Okay. If I turn this on... Okay, that opens this. Got the red fuse. Go ahead and put this in here. That goes there, and... It's on. So, and I can turn it off. Wait, what is this contraption? Let me out! Sorry, but you're the wrong man. What do you mean the wrong man? Hey! Haha. -ha. Now I can go past here and activate this. The switch doesn't work. Really? Huh. Okay, so where does it connect to? Oh, it connects to this, so it needs the blue fuse. Okay. I see. So... Blue fuse is needed. Grab that. I'm getting really lucky with these. I should point out, I don't... Actually... Like, know what, what lights up what lights. I'm basically just happening to press the right ones. That's incredibly weird. Okay, how did I light this one? How did I get access to blue? I don't remember what access to blue was. It wasn't all three, right? Yeah, I think it was... That... and this? There we go. Gotcha. There it goes there, and... beautiful! Now I can go activate that. When we do that, good things should happen. It's on. There we go. So turned that. Oh wait, did I? Did I? I think I actually wanted that on. Whoopsie doopsie. Yeah. So let's keep that on. It. it I, I assumed once I activated it, I needed to go over there and press it. But no, that was turning it off, not on. So. Now with that, I just need to figure out what I need to do to activate all of the red dots over there. That's three of them. And this is... So going soldier identity is safely contained now, no need to open the door. Hmm. But I'm missing one here. Okay, on Mr. Agung's door, these- these correspond to... the four... yeah, so I just have to go activate the one at the end. I do actually want to turn that one off. Yeah, and then this should open Mr. Agung's door. There we go. Okay. Yeah, the, the two and... 
Like, the ones on the other cells, they didn't correspond as simply as the one on Mr. Agung's door. Mr. Agung's door was just one, two, three, four, as far as the levers go. But the other ones, like, two did one and three on the second door and weird stuff like that. That wasn't too hard, though. I did kind of just bumble my way through it, though. Mr. Agung is free. It's all my fault. Huh? See, now that you've become, an on become someone honorable and worthy. It's okay, Father. That's what I thought this was. Father? Prove to you that, by being a t that being a teacher is a noble way of life. Educating the younger generation that will inherit the future. My own way of serving the country. Might not take arms like you did. But if I fight in the front line- but I fight in the front line all the same. I apologize, my son. I apologize for being such a bad father. All the ways I treated you harshly. I forgive you, Father. Beyond anything, I just want you to approve of my life's decisions. Thank you, son. Oh, Mr. Agung just had some daddy issues. Gung. Raya? Mr. Agung. Please don't erase him. I'm in his mind currently. Raya? Mr. Agung. Raya? I need your help. I have to leave school for a while. For the festival we need... Do you have a permission slip? No, that's why I... That's a no. You may be the committee president of the Lintong Festival, but it doesn't mean you can go on as you please. This is for... We're talking about the festival. How about the missing money? Are you finally taking care of all the budgeting issues? Huh? How did you know about that? Uh, as expected. You still haven't done anything about it, have you? You should solve it for yourself. Stop coming to me for everything. You're the committee president. Act like one. You shouldn't know that. You shouldn't say that. Not here. Not when... You've... You've... You've say everyone's... You say everyone's against you, but they're your own classmates. You should be the one who figures out a way to convince them. <laughs> As expected from a textbook model student. All hot air. You can't do anything in real life. Stop. Please. I can't hear it again. Lulu did it effortlessly last year, the year before, too. She was a fantastic leader, and she never had a budget problem like this. I said stop it. You're the one that messed him up. I see. You did it on purpose because he was... being pretty mean to you, admittedly. And comparing you to Lulu, it's never... It's never nice having to live in someone's shadow like that. Useless. I can make this the perfect festival. Wait and see. Wait. She's gone? Who peed on the floor? Who's peeing? Huh? What is that? A medallion? Student Council President of 2XXX. There's a name in it, but it's scratched out. Do you see it now? Ugh. You're Mr. Agung, our civ civic studies teacher. Yes, yes I am. Apologize to the weird outburst, kids. Can you tell us what happened? Not sure. Last thing I remember was a student. A student? Who? Which one? I... I think it was Raya. Yes, Raya was going to leave the school area. I told her that just because she's the committee president... Huh? That doesn't mean she can just skip school whenever she pleases. Raya's to the committee president of the Lintong Festival? Everything I saw in the space dive is true. Raya did all this? What else do you remember, Mr. Agung? Nothing. Maybe it's heat stroke? It was very sunny today. I need the air conditioner in my office now. Wait. You know where Raya went to? Honestly, no. Adma, I thought you were close with her. I, uh... Actually, no, you mentioned it. The counselor did mention something that was worrying about hurrying her about Raya. She was going to talk to me about it, but I didn't have the time. Counselor. Miss Nikon. Yeah, maybe she knows where Raya was headed. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need a blast of freezing air to the face immediately. Sure you're alright, sir. I can ask the cafeteria to make you your favorite iced tea if you like. 
Iced tea is indeed my favorite, but how did you know that? Uh, because you always let me get one for you whenever there's a student council meeting? You're on the student council? I don't remember you. Huh? But I was last year's president. You... you don't remember? Ugh, you're speaking nonsense. But I... Just let me leave, kid. Did you erase Mr. Agung's memory of Lulu when you did that? I mean, we've seen that Raya can kind of just wipe people's existence from the world like she did with Eric. Hmm. Weird. Well, this is too weird. Raya, that weirdo, the community president? Totally insane. Hey, that's kind of harsh, isn't it? You know her better than I do. You should know exactly why that can never happen. Mr. Agung, I was his favorite student. I was hoping he would at least remember giving me the student council honorary medallion. Medallion like this? Where'd you get that? You know where that? Do you know what that is? This is mine. Uh oh. Huh? Huh? What is this thing? Can't remember. Well, no time for chit chat. Don't just stand there, Atma. Let's go find Miss Nikon. Oh, oh, yeah, sure, let's go. The space dive is true, then Raya's acting really strangely. She seemed angry and upset. But Miss Nikon can help me find her quickly. I wonder if Raya's doing all of this messed up stuff to everybody here because she wants this to be like the perfect dream world for Atma? Not sure. Not sure, but it seems like she's wiped Lulu's memory and now has control over Lulu like she does everyone else. So that's, uh... That's weird. Lulu's still in my party, though. Alright, Miss Nikon. Where was Miss Nikon at? Don't know. Where would you be at? Not in here. I don't remember going by, like, a counselor's office. Did I at some point? Uh, the map is what I want to see. Classroom, schoolyard, cinema, library. Yeah, if you're not in the classroom or like the schoolyard. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't remember seeing you here. Are you specifically outside of the school? That would be weird to me, but. Because, yeah, you're the lunch lady. You're not back here. Oh, hi. Apparently, this is where kids go to skip school. Won't let that happen anymore. Not on my watch. Yeah, this is where I came to skip school. Okay, where are you at? Hmm. Because, yeah, you're just the library person. Down there goes over there. Hmm. And maybe they are- maybe they are out in town. Unless you're in the library. Marin, have you seen, uh, the counselor? luck. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I'm just gonna try and leave and see if it even lets me. Because, uh... Yeah, this was just the classroom. Okay, yeah, let's just try to leave. Don't think those doofuses have anything to give me. Okay, so we... Yeah, I, I would have expected the counselor to be at school, but no. Miss Nikon. You stay here. I'm gonna go talk to her. But, okay. Miss Nikon. Oh, yes, Lulu. What can I help you with? Looking for Raya. Do you know where she is? Raya? Sorry, Lulu. Don't have a clue. You know something about Raya, don't you, miss? Mr. Agung told me you have concerns about her. Can you tell me what exactly you're concerned about? It's important. <sighs> Mr. Agung shouldn't have told you that. I apologize, Lily, but as the school counselor, I can't discuss a student's private life with other students. Why? It would be a betrayal of trust. It's against our code of conduct, too. Not to mention it could lead to bullying or gossip. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, that went well. What kind of an answer is that? This is important. There's a point, you know. You wouldn't want her telling other students about your private life, would you? It's exactly what I expected. You're not helping. I am helping now. Just trying to save you some time. There's no way she'll tell us anything. 
But... But you might tell someone else. Are you suggesting... Yeah, now you stay here. And give me your lunch money. Is this a stick-up? Yep, spent the last of my castle on my date with Raya. That's rough, bro. Look, if you have a better idea, I'm all ears. No, okay, okay, here. Got 2,000 rupee off from Lulu. Okay, going in. Wait. What if Miss Nikon spots you? She knows you're Raya's boyfriend. I mean, I need some kind of disguise. Hmm. Probably nothing complicated. Just borrow a hat or something from somebody wearing one. Fine, fine. Let's hope there's convenient foliage to hide in nearby. Okay, I need a hat. I'm going! Need to go in- Okay, I guess I steal a hat from somebody in here. So I can't go in without a disguise. Oh, well, is there a hat sitting out here? Hat? Hat, hey, give me a hat. What's up, bro? Hey, dude, how's the dog? Good, good. Thanks for your help earlier. No, there's anything I could ever do for you. Actually, perfect timing. Can I borrow your hat? Sure. Luckily, I always carry an extra hat. It's an iconic one from a famous soap opera. Looks good on you, bro. Really? That easy? I mean, I always have a spare hat. What kind of lunatic doesn't keep a spare hat on hand for emergency? <laughs> what? Right. Thanks. Wait, why do you have a spare hat, though? For what reason? I don't understand. Alright, well, let's just go over here and snoop. Hey, let's use the hat. Okay, we're gonna sit down to listen in without being obvious. Pull a box out with extra noodles, please. Coming right up! Ran into Lulu just now, Pram. Lucy Octavianti? Yeah, her. She demanded to know any concerns about Raya. The way she talked, it seemed like she accused Raya of being... I don't know. Like something is wrong with her. They don't get along well, do they? No, I don't think they do. Whoop! Oh, I'm not doing that, I'm just eating my noodles. Mmm, 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 yeah, that's good stuff. Bram, do you think Lulu is looking to weaponize the information I have against Raya? Did you tell her anything? No. That's good. Regardless of Lulu's motives... You didn't let Raya's private business spark another feud between her and another student. You've done your part as a teacher and a counselor, Nikon. Thank you. So relieved to hear you say that. Oh, 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 yummy noodles! Oh, God! What do they put in this stuff? How about Lulu? She came up to me earlier to talk about some peculiarity she spotted around school. When she suspects that Raya has something to do with them. Kind of peculiar things. You know, this Lintong fest. Don't you think a gung has been acting rather weird too? Statements about Raya aside, Lulu is right. It's odd. Pram, don't you think so too? Like in this Lintong fest, preparations put people on edge every year. You know that. It's hectic around here, and people are all stressed out. Let yourself get sucked into it, okay? I mean, sure. That still doesn't sit well with me. Oh, yeah. Need another refill, please, actually. Oh, yeah. Hey, Pram. You can keep a secret, right? Sure I can. What's up? Concerned about Raya. Really genuinely worried about her. Well, so there, or I am concerned. Seems like she's keeping a lot of secrets. She looks like she's carrying the weight of the whole world on her narrow shoulders. I wonder if everything is alright at home. Hmm. Oh, finally, my second bowl. Phew. I feel like I could eat ten of these things. Last time Raya asked me out of the blue where to buy fireworks in large quantities. What kind of high school kid has something like that, Pram? She won't tell me the reason. I if she's out to do something dangerous. Should I notify the school about this? Scared. Hey, hey, relax. Probably just want to use the fireworks for the festival, right? That's what I'm imagining. Circle back to what we can do, okay? What can you do within your capacity as a counselor? Well, there should be someone she feels safe coming to in an emergency. In case things are really bad at home and she has nobody else to turn to. That's right. 
I already notified a gong about my concern, so you're acting on this. It's the best angle to approach problems like this from. Try to see what you can do to remedy things. If there's something you can't do, there's no point sweating over it. Pram. You're so dependable, you know. Thank you. Try my best. Yeah? What's up? Just eat my- just eat my food. I can already finish with your meal? Yeah, just about. Why? Faculty meeting. Oh no. Completely forgot we have that this afternoon. Let's pay and get out of here, yeah? After you. Well, glad I heard that. Miss Nikon noticed it too. Every entities out there trying to mess with the world is getting less discreet about it. Well, I better get going. There we go. Objective completed. Ooh, they left the thingy. Makal water, direct from the mountain spring. Yay. Got a lot of bottle caps. I'll be around for the Lung Tong Fest as well, so be on the lookout. This year's Lung Tong Festival will be the most unforgettable event of all time. Uh, you're bringing toys to the Lung Tong Fest, right? We gotta play together. Okay, okay, I'll bring some. Just shoot with your mouth closed. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get out of here. Hey, you boy. Oh, I gotta pay? If you're a boxo first. Oh, right, sorry, uncle. Here you go. Good, good. The scholars these days always take food without paying. It's a bad habit, you know. Now that you're full, go help Raya and work your ass off with this Ling Tong Festival. It's gonna be the most unforgettable event of all time. The most unforgettable luncheon. So what did you get? Well... Snyken said that Raya was going to buy a large quantity of fireworks. She didn't say precisely where she was going. Hmm, let me see, fireworks, huh? No idea what she's planning on doing with them, but that's besides the point for now. Anyway, I might have a lead. There's this woman who helped with the fireworks for Luntong Fest a few years ago. Her the business crashed and she's retired now. Still, she'd be my first part of call if I wanted fireworks in a large quantity. Where's this woman now? I see her from time to time at the community center. I think she works with plants now. Oh, she's a nice woman. Gave me a bitter melon a while ago. Let's go find her. Right behind you. Alright. It's not the way to the community center. Uh, okay, fine. I just wanted to save. There we go. Cool. Alrighty. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of A Space for the Unbound. And I'll see you next time for some more.